hello guys uh, welcome back to my channel mason african motives still working on questions on revisions on electricity so we are having the question on number seven on electricity from one of the question papers okay so the first question is to state faraday's first law of electrolysis in words okay we need to state this law um in words okay so as usual guys i always bring a part that is actually good for us so we actually talked about this law before that is the mass of a given substance liberated at an electrode of a cell is directly proportional so this is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the cell so it's directly proportional to the quantity of electricity so what are you talking about here the mass which is liberated on the electrode which is directly proportional to the quantity of electricity passed through the, the cell. So these are the major important points that you're supposed to indicate when you are working with Faraday's first law. Okay. On 7.2, we are given a circuit consisting of four cells, each EMF of uh, 1,5 volts connected in series. Each cell has an internal resistance of 0 0,5 ohms, two resistors, uh, three ohms, and six ohms are connected in parallel to the circuit. The battery is now connected, so, okay? So take note, we have a parallel connection, then the battery is now connected in series with a radio and a loudspeaker of two ohms. So we have a radio of two ohms and a loudspeaker of two ohms. Okay, calculate the total resistance of the circuit. Okay, so not to rush guys, we can just actually have a sketch of this part that is happening here. So this cell is actually going to be combined and give us a battery so i'm just going to indicate this like as a battery which means with a one thing but actually there were four cells that were were there is it four yes we had four cells there but these cells now they combine to give us a battery like this and it's going to be connected in a parallel circuit so we've got a parallel circuit like this okay then the parallel circuit is now then connected in series. So this is our parallel circuit, which is now connected in series with a radio and a loudspeaker. So there are two things that are actually in series. In this case, there's a radio and a loudspeaker. So we can just put uh, something like this, but this is a series connection and a series connection, there's nothing actually that is going to affect, okay? So you can have this as our radio and this as our loudspeaker in this case, okay? so this battery here is actually a combination of these cells combined together so there are four cells and each has an emf of 1,5 so you're going to multiply by four in order for you to calculate the total emf so it's going to be 1,5 times four so if you multiply properly this guy is uh, it's 1,5 times four which is going to give us six folds okay so we are going to have an EMF so this is the total EMF that you are having of 6 volts and we also need the total internal resistance not the total resistance of the circuit but the internal resistance of the circuit okay so how many resistors do we have we have uh, four of them and each is an internal resistance of 0 0.5 so therefore we are going to also multiply by 4 so it's 0 0.5 times 4 or you add 0 0.5 four times so it's 2 so we are going to obtain two ohms like this. Okay, so that's what you're having in the parallel circuit. Which part do we have in parallel circuit? We have the three ohm and the six ohm, which are the ones in what? In parallel, three and six. So this is your three ohm and this is your six ohm. Then we have got the radio and the loudspeaker in series. The radio is four ohms. The loudspeaker is two ohms. Okay, so we have four ohms for the radio. And we have the two ohms for the loudspeaker like that okay so the first question is uh, calculate the total resistance of the circuit that is on 7.21 we need the total resistance of the circuit okay so always try to analyze the question that you are given so that you'll be able to note everything so the total resistance in this case what are we going to combine okay we have the internal resistance which is going to be added to the parallel the total resistance of the parallel circuit okay so we have the total for the internal resistance plus the one for the parallel circuit plus 
uh, we have the resistance of the radio and the resistance of the loudspeaker so we have the resistance of the radio and uh, also the resistance of the what of the loudspeaker so this is the radio this is the loudspeaker okay so that means rt is going to be equal to the rt this one of the internal resistance remember we obtained this as uh, two ohms so it's going to be two plus the parallel so in a parallel it's product over sum. i've always talked about this so these are the ones that are in parallel so it's product over the sum of the resistance so we have three and what three and six so the product is going to be three by six over three plus six so product over sum over three plus six like this plus this resistance of the radio the resistance of the radio is four ohms and the loudspeaker is two so it's four plus two okay so you must do this properly so rt is going to be equal to two plus you combine this parallel circuit so if you combine you're going to obtain two plus four plus two like this okay so if you add this you're going to obtain a resistance of 10 ohms so that is going to be the total resistance in this case of 10 ohms okay so that's what we had on uh, 7.21 the total resistance of the circuit you actually work with the circuit that you are given okay then we have the current flow in the circuit okay the current that is going to flow in the circuit this is the actually the total current of the circuit when it's asked like this so the total current of the circuit is going to be the total emf of the circuit over the total resistance of the circuit remember we have the total emf of the circuit or the total voltage of the circuit and we also have the total resistance of the circuit from this part here from this part that we had this is the total emf the six volts remember the way for each of having each having 1,5 volts and we combine them together and we obtained what six so we have six over the resistance the total resistance of the circuit the one that we calculated here we obtained 10 okay so we obtained 10 so if you divide properly guys you are going to obtain 0, 0,6 so you are going to obtain 0, 0,6 amps and this is the current current is measured in what in amps so the total current of the circuit is going to be 0, 0,6 amps okay then we have um the voltage drop across techno this is the voltage drop across the loud speaker we are referring to the loud speaker in this case the loud speaker so the loud speaker where do we have the loud speaker let's cross check uh, this is the loud speaker it has a resistance of two ohms and remember it's a series circuit where in a series circuit current is actually the same so in order for us to have the voltage drop that is going to be on the loudspeaker is going to be VL, loudspeaker. Okay, let's just write as VL. So it's going to be total current because in a series circuit, current is the same times the resistance of the loudspeaker, okay? So we are referring to this loudspeaker here. The current is the same, which is the total current that we obtained of 0, 0,6. So it's going to be 0, 0,6 multiplied by the total resistance uh, of the which is the resistance of the loudspeaker here which is two so you multiply by two so if multiply properly from your calculator you're going to obtain 1,2 volts okay so this is going to be the voltage drop on the loudspeaker if it was on the radio it was going to be the same again the voltage across the radio is going to be the total current multiplied by the resistance of what of the radio which is four so it's going to be zero comma six multiplied by four that is for the radio so it's still wanting the same thing so that's how they can actually ask these questions uh yes guys it's pretty easy yeah? pretty easy if you work with question papers okay a single phase transformer is the as a supply voltage of 240 and a primary current of six amps at full load okay so let's just try to have the information the supply voltage is actually on the primary so we have a primary voltage of uh, 240 volts that's the primary voltage 240 volts and a primary current at full load of 6 amps here in the primary okay so that's the primary current which is uh, 6 amps okay then what else do we have 
the secondary current is 0 0.4 amps the secondary current so that's is the secondary current which is 0 0.4 amps that's your secondary current and there are 600 turns on the primary coil okay so on the primary coil that is number of turns is 600 turns like this okay then what do we have the question is calculate the number of turns on the secondary coil the number of turns on the secondary coil okay so in this case a uh, type of a question you're going to use this ratio uh vp over vs that is primary or is equal to number of turns on the primary over number of turns on the secondary which is equal to current on the secondary over current on the primary so this one we do not have complete values for the voltage but for current we have so you can equate to the current so number of turns with the current so i'm going to use this part here so i'm going to use np over ns but when it is to current is opposite guys take note current it's is of ip okay so you can substitute this information np number of turns in the primary it's what it's 600 so you've got 600 turns on the primary over number of turns on the secondary is the one that you want to calculate so this one is equal to the current in the secondary over the current in the primary so current in the secondary it's 0 0.4 0 0.4 over the current in the primary the current in the primary is 6 so you can actually apply your mathematical gymnastics here to calculate this value of ns so you can uh, cross multiply and divide so it's 6 by 600 which is equal to 0 0.4 uh, times the number of turns in the secondary then in order for you to find ns number of turns in the secondary you are going to divide 6 times 600 combined together then you divide by 0 0.4 which is multiplying number of 10 so you divide by 0 0.4 okay so that's that, that's it so if you actually apply proper you are going to obtain 9000 so in the secondary there are 9000 tens in the in the secondary part so that's what we had on this part okay so that was uh, 7.31 so this is actually 7.31 where you are working with the number of turns okay then we need the secondary voltage the secondary voltage so this one you can use any since you have the number of turns and uh, still so you can use the number of turns or you can use the voltage no matter the way because now you have the number of what now you have the number of turns but still the same thing that you're going to do is to apply this part here this formula so so you can equate these two since you now have the number of turns on the what on the secondary so it's going to be vp over vs which is actually equal to np the number of turns in the primary over the number of turns in the what in the secondary like this so you can substitute your vp is there is 240 so we have 240 like this over the voltage on the secondary we do not know this one the number of turns in the primary number of turns in the primary is 600 over the number of turns in the secondary the number of turns in the secondary is actually the one that we just calculated which is which was 9000 if i'm not mistaken yes this is 9000 so it's over 9000 like this okay so you're going to perform the same thing just like the previous part you cross multiply then you divide so it's 240 by 9000 which is equal to you multiply these two so it's 600 times vs which is the voltage on the second then you divide by 600 both sides so that you can determine this okay so if you divide both sides you're going to obtain 3600 volts so this is what you are going to have 3600 volts as the voltage on the secondary side okay pretty big okay on 7.33 you are asked to calculate the secondary uh, power the secondary power okay so on the secondary side in order for us to have the power this is 7.33 in order for us to have the power in this secondary side we are simply going to multiply the two the voltage 
on the secondary and the current on the secondary simple 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 like that okay so let's take our information we have the voltage on the secondary the one that we just calculated now this one 3600 volts okay so we have 3600 volts multiplied by the current in the secondary this one we we were already given this um, uh, yes i listed this before i listed this before this is the current in the secondary which is 0 0.4 so you're simply going to multiply the two using your calculator so using your calculator you must obtain this is 1000 something three comma let me just explain this part someone 3600 multiplied by 0 0.4 so you're actually going to obtain 1440 okay now this 1440 is the power and the power is measured in actually in watts okay so you can leave your answer like this or you can write in kilowatts that's one two three which is going to be 1,44 kilowatts. So kilowatts simply means you have to move three commas like that. One, two, three, 1, 1,44. But you can just leave like 1,404. This is our answer, guys. So it's fine like that. No need for us to change if we, if, if we don't want to change. But if you want to change it, therefore we can actually change this part. So as you can see, guys, that's how they ask these questions. And we get... How many marks for this just imagine 16 marks all this part is up to 16 marks so not to miss these marks guys these are marks that you can actually take on electricity i guarantee you or i assure you guys that these marks you can actually obtain them as they are 16 as they are you can obtain these marks but it doesn't start in exam it starts now if you can't obtain them now, you can't obtain them in exam. There is no miracle like that. If you can't obtain them now, you can't obtain them in exam. So how can you obtain in exam? You have to start now, revise now, work now, do more question papers now, revise more questions now. So that's it guys from Amazon African Motives, working on revisions on engineering science and three still not to miss these classes, be part of the family.